This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm still your host, Cammy Chaos, even though you might want to get rid of me. <laughs> As always, we're joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, I think. <laughs> <laughs> even though you might sometimes want to get rid of him. <laughs> really? Uh, no. uh, I don't want to get rid of you, but maybe they do. Who? Who's they? Them. Them? The people that are. He's, he's, he's okay, like assessing whatever. this right now. He's, he's giving this a lot of thought. He's like, no, wait a minute. It's the what internet. He, he thinks I've fallen off my rocker, but, but that's but okay. But have no live stream. Yeah. Um, and this evening, our special guests are... Oh, yeah, them. <laughs> senior <laughs> producer, Aaron Weiss, and Stephanie Strickland. Yay, thank you. And, and the live studio audience. And we have a lovely live studio audience. We have a large, lovely studio audience for they're us. giggling over there about things. Yes. They're, well, they're excited because they know that after hours is when they don't have to behave quite as well. <laughs> they can kind of, you know, get away with stuff, maybe. Really bad. And nobody has to stay on topic. And no one has to stay on topic. Right. Because Including, especially me. It's after hours. That's right. <laughs> so what do we want to discuss? We have a whole broad oh, range good. of things that we can discuss. And we started several discussions before the show even started. So I think we should pick one of those and get back to it. But first, I should find out, are any of you planning to go to Master Bacon? I was really looking forward to Master Bacon, and then <laughs> my friends, Mark and Tracy, who are dear friends of mine from college, are having a baby shower tomorrow. Aww. So there will be no bacon apple pie, at least from me. Did you hear someone was going to be bringing bacon? I, I didn't hear someone else making bacon apple pie. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, there are two judges in the room. We totally can't know. But okay. I, I but you, you, you're hopeful that someone will show up with some bacon apple pie. Well, that's bacon good. apple pie is surprisingly good. Yeah. Like, I, lo- I, mean, I know I, you said you were scared when you totally, looked at it. Totally, because it looked not good. Not good. Mm-hmm. Not good to my eyes. But then he it, brought it and he made it. Mm. I think, and everyone on Twitter was like, oh, no, Stephanie. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's really Trust good. Me. <laughs> You'll see. It, yeah. And everything it, it, it goes great. good with bacon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it, that the, the thing about Lesson bacon learned. apple pie that, that I hadn't considered at the time but realized is that the bacon fat with the bacon lattice on top mm-hmm. then drips down and gives the apples this wonderful, you know, f- fatty, creamy mouthfeel that you can't get from... But you also called oh, it well. shrinkage. Bacon shrinkage. Well, I, shrinkage. I hadn't, it does. I hadn't it planned on, on the shrinkage, so you, you have to leave a little <laughs> overhang with mm-hmm. your bacon lattice. Yeah. Um, I've abstained <laughs> from bacon all week. As so your palate is preparation fresh. for it's Master Bacon. It's hurting me. It's really hurting me. <laughs> I, I, when when uh, we went we went shopping today. So this is the difficulty in our house right now. Right. Is that I am a Master Bacon judge. Okay. And my husband is going to submit something. Could to you Master say that bacon. again, please? I'm a Master Bacon judge. Say that quick. No. Three times. <laughs> Stop it. I'll judge that too. Whatever. Okay. So, I'm going to judge this, and he wants to submit something. Right. And so we went to the grocery store today, and he wouldn't let me in the same quadrant of the grocery store. Nor would your six-year-old. Nor would our six-year-old. It was just like, no, I was persona non grata. That's only fair as a judge. Now I'm interested to know, though, what he's going to make. You can ask him. Is it a blind tasting? So you don't even know what what his... So one of the am judges, I. Clever diversion. I think one of the judges is even submitting something. Oh, okay. So, you know, it's just, he's just trying to make everything very fair. I think he just wants to make the best bacon dish and, and have me be impartial and just be like, I am king of the bacon universe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping that someone for minimalist purposes just makes bacon. Bacon. I would and have brings been. in a plate oh, of, good point. of bacon. I Excellent. think I would really enjoy Excellent. that. And just say this bacon stands alone. Because when he, I like how you. I think. do know that he bought bacon. That's the one thing I know he bought, and so I was like, Lots when, you, of bacon. when you make the bacon, can I just <laughs> have a slice of the bacon? bacon. And he was like, like no, no, you can't have the bacon. And so I was like, well, would you, would you just save a couple Hand pieces at home for me, bacon. so that when I get home, I can have just the now, bacan. Now is this like Zupan's no. new season? You got it, Zupan. Yes. Zupan's Hand the, the, slice. the fanciest bacon around. I spent around. my yeah. um. Paycheck this month on bacon at Zupan's. I'm telling you, perfecting the recipe. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, you know, here's what you don't do when you go into a competition. You know, add bacon to something, you know, innovative that you've never done before. Correct. <laughs> but that's how you like to do stuff. It is. Yeah. AKA it... this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh, wait, the Googling song. So you don't do anything? Do you do anything while you're Googling and you're looking through the results? No. Uh, I don't But now I'm just totally fascinated about the Google song. So I'll go and I'll talk. Do, 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 And I, I can't. I Chat can't. room just cleared out. I know. They all ran away. Yeah, it was the first time it. I ever did a podcast. <laughs> the show's away. We're done. It was, it was the great. first time I ever did a podcast. Yeah. And I was on my, I was, I was guest co-hosting on my friend's show. Right. And. He asked something, and I went to Google it, and I started humming <laughs> the Google song. The Google song, which is the it's uh, Herb is Albert. It Tijuana Taxi. Yeah, yeah. Tijuana Taxi. <laughs> Lovely. And so I, I'm like humming, and he's like, "What are you doing?" Girl in oh, whipped cream on the cover. Sorry. Look it up. So you know what you just did here? You just invented a Firefox extension. Oh, <laughs> nice. Awesome. That would Someone be so by the end cool. of tomorrow has to have the Google song. Just any time you Google, it's going to pick a song. That would be awesome. Oh, that's a that's great. I would, I would get on it, it, chat room. <laughs> By the end of this show, come on. somebody make it for me. I need a Google song application. I spend thing a lot of eat. time googling for people who call me or mm -hmm. email me with like random questions. I, my mother has this disease, and I don't know what to do. And I'm well, like, you're the health reporter. Hang on, <laughs> it's always let the me same. Look. It's like let me look. And sometimes you want to be nice. I mean, you don't want to. You know, the people are writing you because they're, like, think about it. It's easy for me to, like, poke fun, but someone, like, a loved yeah. one has an issue, and they're like, yeah. who do we turn to? Stephanie will know. <laughs> like, really? I mean, is that really? I mean, you're oh, in the, you you're in no the public eye, and it's like... Um, Case in point today, I get a comment from some guy on my blog who's freaked out over the Mattress World commercials <laughs> and wants me to do something about it, and I'm like, what... <laughs> We want me to go talk to Sherry Heiner and like ask her to do it different. I, I and I what just freaks him out about the mattress world. He doesn't like them. He well, just doesn't like the commercials. I don't like commercials at all. But comment. he wanted me to. T he said maybe you could tell someone that she's too in your face, and I just thought like and and I shouldn't. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not disparaging the guy, but think about it. Like, this is a guy who sat there and watched TV and just got mad. Maybe he just and thinks said, he I'm gonna a lot write, of power. Right? I'm going to write that Stephanie Strickland and tell her what I think about that Sherry Heiner, and she's going to fix it. See, and that's why I'm glad these emails don't come to me, because if yeah. it had come to me, I would have just replied back with, you're pissed about Mattress World, but not Carpet Carl. <laughs> <laughs> is he still on? Oh, He's yeah. orange now. Wow, how much I don't watch the actual broadcast, <laughs> the actual TV. broadcast TV. So this anymore. brings us to an interesting Carl. point. A week ago, we've been talking about it for months, but a Tom week ago. Tom Peterson was a member of my church when I was a kid. We're not talking about your church. Tom, Tom and Gloria is still on TV. That's, are they, are they still on? Yeah. Still. still Tom and Gloria. But you TV. don't have TV anymore, so wow. you can't know this. What I miss... Is professional wrestling still on? <laughs> no, it's it's completely. Now this goes ba way back my, to the people my it, age. It's who not like live when you Portland. were a kid. It's the not like when you The professional wrestling, the Tom Peterson, Tom. who would actually go down and do a spot with um, live, and then uh, you know the controversies where they take the batteries out of his his battery TV and and all that. You know, it just I mean weeks and weeks around the you know. I think that's where discussed. advertising's going to go back to. I think, I think so too. Oh, I think, I think right. professional wrestling. Yeah. Well, Actually, sweet. That's my next podcast that I'm producing. <laughs> You're producing the professional wrestling podcast. podcast yeah, yeah. There, there are there is, a, there is a professional there. wrestling thing in Portland. We've yep. done stories Absolutely. on Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So it's huge. Yeah. I mean, you could couldn't grow up here as a boy in Portland and not like have your professional wrestling cred on. You know. I, I think. I think roller derby has roller derby. Yeah. Yeah. Has roller derby is so professional awesome. Wrestling in Portland. Oh, uh, roller derby. I love it. They have a, like there was a big um, competition, a roller derby competition here not too long ago because I was doing uh, my Square Voices question, mm -hmm. and some gal was, um, she's like, "Are you coming to the roller derby thing tonight? I watch you all the time. There's a huge competition." And she gave me her roller derby name, and I wish I could remember, but you know they're all just completely awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was great. Oh, talk about great. uncomfortable events. We need to send Joe Smith to sometime. <laughs> roller derby. Oh, There's lots of that, cleavage that, roller derby. <laughs> That will does, be does he great. Skate? That will be great television, right? Oh, there. that would be awesome if he could just skate Guaranteed. along with the women. Or just have a, if he doesn't, just get him in skates and get two gals on either side and oh, kind of roll him down the. Yeah. Thing, All right, I'll, I'll go check the schedule. Next one, right. we'll, we'll be there. 
I don't know that he'll do the skates. The poor no, guy. No, he, <laughs> he gets but... he gets there like five minutes. Oh, he has, make no, him he, has do. No, he has no time to he has prep. No prep time. Does he hate yeah. everyone? No, I mean, he's, 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 no. he's the nicest I gotta guy. Say, I mean, doesn't this guy? He does he does stories during the day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then in the evening, you send him out to yes. the roller derby. Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. With, with, with no right. prep time. Saying COVID. Hey, oh, I say let him go to Capriles as well. That's true. We missed that. We were gonna down the. We were gonna go to dinner at Capriles that night because it's just down the street, but. Yeah, then we I did. see what you're asking. I didn't. thought you meant like, is he some sort of just no, no, that's not what you meant. No, no. Joe is a great guy, um, but I I wouldn't be surprised if he hates us. I guess it's it's the thing. where we send the poor he, he, guy. He works all exactly. day turning a story, yeah. exactly. and then <laughs> gets off the air and and seriously rips off his tie, <laughs> runs out the door. Zoops. His his photographer is waiting. The live truck has raced from the six o'clock live shot to the seven o'clock live shot. Slammed it together at the Sla- last second. You know, Dave Angier. At uh, at Kennedy School was running cable out and around He's getting one of our a board feed. Big engineers is he, he can it, do anything. He can do anything, and he got us that live shot with you know with a board feed with a band. And Joe's crammed into this little venue, and and he made it happen, and it was great. But they you know they worked their asses off yeah. for do you a know why live shot. I watch? Do you know why I watch? I'm waiting for that moment when he, where he just goes. I don't even freaking like Billy Joel's music. <laughs> okay, you need to back you know, off from you know. the microphone. Take a take a step back. I, that's what I'm like for. Eat, to hell with all of you. I think I think that we, we all we all have those your... moments, but they all happen when the cameras are off. He's they might pro. happen the He's split second the cameras. Joe, off. Joe is a consummate pro. He's a pro. Yeah. But you're still waiting for that. <laughs> Hoping. <laughs> exactly. It's like I've been working all day on this investigative story, <laughs> and now you send me out to roller derby. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, maybe if he goes Kale Martini's wife. What? Oh. Is joining the roller right. derby. Okay, there you go. I don't know her name. Kemi Chaos. I'm thinking that sounds pretty roller derby to me. You <laughs> yeah. that, that is a great roller derby name. <laughs> I wouldn't even and have, you do to have, have to change it. You wouldn't have to change it at all. Tattoos, yeah. great roller derby I name. I do like to You're roller in. skate. Yeah. I could only yeah. roller skate when I was a kid. I mean, I'm t- so uncoordinated. I was a bookworm mm-hmm. as a kid. So we would go to the Skate King mm-hmm. by our house, and I would skate on the carpet. Because <laughs> it didn't hurt so bad to fall, and I'd get out there. And you can ask my husband, who's sitting back here. When we've gone like ice skating or roller skating, we went roller skating for Nebois's at, um, uh, on Twitter mm-hmm. for her birthday. Was it her 30th? Yeah, it was her 30th. And he had to hold my hand going around the ring. Because this the skating place that we went, which was in Vancouver, the floor is really old and it's all warped. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of, I'm nervous. And he's like, I'll hold your hand. I mean, come Aww, on. It's, you're a good husband. He's a great husband, but I'm a pathetic skater is the bottom <laughs> line. There's no, it's not, what's going to happen? I fall down, not a problem. But for whatever reason, I'm uncoordinated. So. I have ice skated uh, twice and ice skating is the hardest is thing like in the freaking plastic, universe. Plastic boots make all the difference. We were in a bend and uh-huh. they had these horrible right they're horrible but it's like a hard plastic shell uh-huh. and they're great because there's no they're not nice you know forgiving supple love leather you're never going to roll your ankle and you're going to stay upright again he still had to hold my hand yeah but i felt confident in the boots so <laughs> that's what i recommend uh ice sk- i just don't think i need to go ice skating again ever <laughs> i've done it twice and it was pathetic because i have i have little cousins that are so little that and if they ever listen to this they'll hate me that i used to change their diapers mm-hmm They've all graduated from, well, one of them's graduated from college and has a real job. The other one is about to graduate from college. But they made me go ice skating with them when they were in high school. I fell down so many times. Mm, it hurts, my too. Ass. Oh, it hurts. I'm sure they thought You're that was. It's like extra hard. I, well, yes. you know what? I, normally, I'm only klutzy when I'm doing something that. Normal? That yeah. is like, like normal. walking across the room. Yeah, or if something. I'm walking across the room. But if I had to I've do something like walk a tightrope across a you know, gorge filled with sharks, I should be fine. But ice skating is not that. Take up curling. No skates needed. They have, a, no, they have, cur- they have curling classes. I can roll skate, though. I can we roller We went and skate. did that once, actually. Was one it, day, one, it, it It was entertaining. I mean, we... It's a it's a heck of a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah. Then you'd yeah. figure to, to push a stone across the ice, not wearing roller skates, and somehow hit a target on the other side of the ice. <laughs> not easy. I, think, I have I a whole I lot should, more respect all, all for the wh- curling. I should have anything while, ice related. All the while cleaning that damn ice yeah. so nicely. <laughs> I should just I mean, avoid the ice. That's the sport with, for with, me. With one guy yelling at them the whole way down, that's <laughs> all right. It's cool. So who's covering curling this year in the Olympics? Beats me. Uh, okay, uh, I, I have will, an applicant I, I, in the chat room. Oh, do you? 
Okay. Yeah, he's sitting right there. Ah, oh, I yeah. See. He he wants the curling. Okay. Well, we curling. we had a the discussion curling. on an episode, and it was oh, it was the it was the New Year's episode, and we were talking, and we didn't realize that you used to be the Olympic correspondent. Still, still am. Yeah, still and up. so he's talking <laughs> about like this. Or, what oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you hear? They're sending me to the Olympics. This you would year. do a great job. It's uh, Joe Smith. <laughs> no, I would be like, oh, that hurt. That's all I would ever say. He's gonna go um, ballistic about but, curling. But he kept talking, and I can't remember exactly what it was but he was talking about uh, how things might change with the olympics and and we were just like what are you talking about we couldn't uh, we couldn't like make the connection he said specifically um you had announced your pregnancy yes he said yeah i don't know what's going to happen with the olympics <laughs> yeah it, it was, he was on skype stephanie is pregnant <laughs> and we looked at it and picture. i don't know what's going to happen with the olympics and so we went, like, <laughs> does stephanie rule the whole olympic world now the IOC is like going, well, now what are we going to do? Yeah, apparently you were supplying them with athletes through your pregnancies or something. I something we didn't so. know. I messed it all up. Oh, that's good Shame stuff. on you. You'll Shame. never make the ski Shame. jump team now for, for Vancouver. Speaking of other things, so, I'm too uncoordinated to do. I, also don't, I don't ski. Anything that involves cold. <laughs> is that the common? I mean, I, well, I like to sled down my driveway. Okay. Yeah, and throw snowballs at my your, husband. Your drive, does your driveway even have an incline? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, See, you're it? looking at the nice flat, but okay. no, you look at the there, driveway on your way out. Right. It's okay. like this. All right. <laughs> so you can pick up some speed. Yeah, we can't even get the car up the driveway yes. if it's too oh. icy. All right. Yes, we did. Every I mean, the, okay. Day. But, okay, we can't back it up the driveway. How's that? That's right. I was there backing it up, showing <laughs> off, and then I had to drive it in. And then my neighbor one day, on that one day, was like, you're not going to make it. No. Oh, come on. A Jeep will do anything. Yeah. So, so. Back to the so what do you have plans uh, as far as the Olympics and I the mean, next one's it, coming up? Yeah, yes. I mean, and as far as you know, are you going to take some time off after the baby or? Well, I mean, if you have no plans, it's that's it's fu- it's funny you should ask um, because I don't have a really good answer for you, and whatever mm-hmm. answer I, I give you, I reserve the right to change tomorrow <laughs> or the day after. She's lying. She's going to tell us something. No, but it's I, gonna... I actually, you know, I don't, the truth of the matter is that I don't have a plan. I have an idea in my head how I uh-huh. want it to work, mm-hmm. but I don't know how I'm going to feel after I have the baby. Mm-hmm. So I know that I would like, now what's the, so the, funny? The peanut gallery is enjoying you something. Okay. You got to share right, now. Somebody you pick up you, the microphone. You can't interrupt the podcast and not share. Somebody pick up the microphone. All right. Oh. All right. Um, our Scott. audience is oh, oh, I'm passing the buck. But I'm no, a... Scott has the no. microphone. Uh, <laughs> Verso will do it. Okay. All right. Verso, what the heck is so funny? Okay. I have to wait. I didn't tell it. Okay. Yes. She so read the rules. It turned into rules. yes. It turned into uh, Bix saying he would be good at yelling at the curling people because he yelling, likes to yeah. yell at people, and I said no. They yell curling stuff, not give me the dollhouse screener. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, Does anyone That's have what a. We're laughing at. Yeah, but then he goes, That's I can be around though. people, especially if I get to yell at them. Curl faster! Not curly enough! I'm a natural. And I said, I'm plenty curly, stop yelling at me. And then Tarozi said, Bix, you can be my broom man anytime. And Bix said, oh, that no. sounds way too kinky okay, for me. Yeah, I, I think, <laughs> and now all of us are having to... Re- and now we're retelling <laughs> yeah. the joke. There's I think the dollhouse thing, yes. I think the dollhouse yeah. was the Through the magic height. of podcasting, <laughs> we retold the chat room joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is your future in broadcasting. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> what I like is that even Aaron Hockley was laughing. Yeah, that's why we had to bring it on. It's does like that mean? I don't know. It's just like it's, I expect everyone else because you'd be the guy yelling at the people. Everything and yeah. it takes something special no. to make it, you chuckle. It, it's true because all of a sudden it was just like okay, we can't ignore it anymore because now Aaron is laughing as well, and we have to find out what's going on. While we're there, right. could you guys like pull up tonight's XKCD because I haven't seen that yet? Maybe you can tell me that over because right. comics right. are so much funnier when you read them aloud. Yeah. <laughs> How about describing Garfield minus Garfield? There you go. <laughs> That'll work well. It's so for me. I think my plan is to. I'd like to work like come back as quickly as I can, Mm -hmm. but I'd also like to have as much of my days free. So maybe like a a short term part time situation Mm -hmm. where I can get back on the air quickly, but yet still have most of my days. Because you know, I I I don't know from experience from having a baby, but I know uh, that it's going to be an overwhelming. both joy but also an overwhelming toll in terms yeah. of sleep in terms of everything so i just 
you know, want to try to keep the super mom, you know, super woman kind of thing in me in check and realize that I don't, I can't do it all. Yeah. You know, that whole thing where the doctor tells you that if you can get sleep now, you should. Yeah. Listen to the doctor. I know. I but it doesn't, you don't get to store it. I'm not a camel. No, That's you can't. Point, you it's know? true, but you can enjoy it and you can look back on it fondly. And go, wow, that was oh, awesome. I remember when remember I used that? to sleep. Although if you're me, it might make you bitter. <laughs> no, I, that's, I'm not much of a bitter. That's, I am truly like happy. Nothing, nothing typically brings me down. Not bitter. There are some things that make I me be bitter. Grouchy. Not sleeping but makes not bitter. me bitter. He's always, this is, this man right here, even keel. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, most of the time. Every, every once in a while, I will have a y'all need to leave me alone day or one too many hay errands in the morning. When are you going to tell you me? You suddenly sound very Southern. Well, are you from the South? Not at all. I'm okay. from Arizona. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, no, no. You, you, well, you don't count number one. <laughs> uh, I won't get on the irritation scale? No, okay. but, but, but it's also just a... At some point, you end up getting asked to do so many things for so many other shows that aren't yours. You have to say, hang on, I, I have my own job to do here. And every once in a while, you know, once every two I've months or so. I've never seen it. I've just never seen it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. But I want to see him just know, freak I, out and go, back off. This is like Matt Sabino, I, it's, right? It's not quite. It's him, right? <laughs> it's like, he's the guy. He walks in and everyone's like, I, I hate that guy. No. We were, no. I, we're, we're actually very television. fortunate to work in, the, in a newsroom. In an industry that's known for ego cases yes. and divas, to work in a newsroom that is completely free of that. Yeah. And I, am, I thank my lucky stars every day I walk into work for that because that is not the case just about anywhere else you go. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Except for me. I'm a total diva. <laughs> I can pitch a fit with the best of them. You should have seen what she did when she got here. Some of the stories that I've read about myself <laughs> online yeah. are super entertaining. Okay. Are it's, there any brown M&Ms? And did we get rid of the brown no, M&Ms? You, she... <laughs> okay. I can't even communicate about what happened. Van Halen reference, folks. Anybody out there? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> tweet, tweet, yeah. tweet. The crickets. Oh, um, yeah. <clears throat> we try. We try. We try. There's yeah. always one person in the chat room somewhere going, oh, that's right. That. <laughs> that's enormous. <laughs> funny. And that's who he's working Targeting for. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's the one person who's like, yeah, that guy's funny. I like him. <laughs> no one else does, but. You know. I, do, I do that when I write, though. I, I will toss in random in jokes that I'm like, someone will get that that was a Bye Bye Birdie reference. <laughs> yeah. One person out in the audience, but I, I wrote that story for them. Yeah. And, and he'll, all you and actually, he'll tell Aaron, me, he'll no, give me a heads won't. up so that I don't... So <laughs> Not that a Bye Bye Bye... By, no. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's after hours. I can't... I can't control me. I really can't take I you know. anywhere. It's this is why I'm not on camera. Yeah. No. I mean, you could be. Would you like to trade? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. We only have one camera. <laughs> yeah. And we like it that way. Okay, so now we're going to talk about <laughs> saying goodbye to cable. Oh yeah. Oh we yes. We have to talk about this. Yep. So I th this morning. Both of you, you guys. Yeah. I'm the only one who still has it. Well, I'm sure there's lots no, of well, cable yeah. out here. <laughs> no, no, I don't watch TV. Do you have cable? Dish. Dish. Okay. I know you guys have cable. Yeah, and Aaron doesn't watch TV. Okay. okay. Yeah, th this so. morning called called up Comcast and said, you know what, done. Mm -hmm. Paying too much for this. Yeah. And it's expensive. It's, it's so expensive. expensive. And, you know, I, I got married back in July. My wife doesn't watch a lot of TV. And Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and I, I watch in the mornings, you know, a show before work because I'm eating breakfast or something. But I, I just came to realize I'm... I'm not watching this much, and yeah. what am I paying for when I can get it either over the air or, or online? Mm -hmm. So, called up Comcast, and, and that's it. And it, it actually felt nice and liberating. Yes. Exactly. We had a similar experience. I watch TV after I put my daughter to bed when I'm winding down for the day. It's the only time I have to do it. It's the only time I do do it. I, I curl up and I watch TV, and it's so soothing and calming for me. But I don't watch anything when it's actually on, so I had to TiVo everything. Right. And then it occurred to me that almost everything that I watch is on Hulu. Yeah. And I'm paying $900 a year when I could just not yep. pay $900 a year. <laughs> <laughs> and he, Mike doesn't watch it. TV. Well, yeah. Well, with very few exceptions. Most of the, he listens to podcasts. Yes, I do. And the sh Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who makes podcasts listens to podcasts. <laughs> the dirty little secret is that I do <laughs> You're not. You're the one. 
I, I'm just not much of a podcast listener to her. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, I'm, to not take it a little bit back to the depressing conversation we ended the, the tech exactly. half hour on, Hulu, I think, is the single biggest threat to our business model and our livelihood because all of a sudden NBC is bypassing Correct. the local right. stations. Yep. I, if I'm watching The Office on Hulu, it's a better experience than watching it on TV. Mm -hmm. You get shorter breaks interrupting. Mm -hmm. It's more convenient. It's on my schedule. I don't even have to deal with the bloop, 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 TV, TV sound trying no. to forward through the ads. Because the, the ads are so short yeah. Yeah. that by the time you're like, oh, I wish I could, fa oh, it's over. And there okay. is no, and, and there are no local promos in there. There is no hang on, your local news is next. No. And, you know, what, what cl the death of classifieds were to newspapers, Hulu has the potential yeah. to be for now, If only I could see my local TV. news online. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. I can, thanks <laughs> to you guys. Um, and is the news still, like, for a local station, is that, like, a lost leader? Is that oh, no, lo very profitable. Okay, so so that's one. So local news. Well, because that's one the content that the local stations right. put out mm -hmm. themselves. The, the, there's a reason that you keep seeing morning shows that originally were six thirty morning shows went to six, went to five thirty, went to five. Now four thirty in the morning. Yep. They're not doing that just for the fun of it. They're they're making money for those two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. wow. And there's a reason that we're expanding. That we have one of the few local shows in the country at seven o'clock because. As these shifts happen, the, the stations that are going to be in, in good positions are the ones that have more local programming control their own destiny. Right. Mm -hmm. um, syndication's expensive. Syndication's expensive. Network programming isn't what it used to be, and we're going to have to start paying for that soon if we're not already. I don't know exactly what our yeah, parent company's situation is with NBC, but that it, it used to be that the networks paid the affiliates to carry their content. That's changing now, and... There now are, they're, they're and now their networks are, are demanding Vice stations versa. pay them. Um, and, so, you know, with Hulu, so, wait, you're, you know, I'm going to pay you that I can promote <coughs> something and air something that, that someone can get that I can the, then right. encourage them to go get free and bypass us entirely. So, yeah. But the local content's not going to be on Hulu, though. What, what you're oh. producing is the local Correct. content. Well, I, I would actually love if our local content was on Hulu because <laughs> right. the player's great. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, yes, I mean, Hulu at some point will... I don't know if Hulu will be the platform or Boxy becomes the place you go for well, all of that and Boxy picks up our content as correct. well as everyone else's. Or Juice. So, or Juice. So what you Boxy know, does, you does right. and you have Windows, I think you were saying. I have Windows, so I've been running the, the XBMC mm -hmm. port and, mm -hmm. and haven't gotten an invite to the, the Boxy they Windows Alpha yet. I don't think yet. Boxy has Windows Alpha going yet. They, it's a private invite. So oh, do they yeah. do have they, they do, they're still they're still doing the private invite um, on the Mac version? Right. No, that's actually which I have, and you you can just get that now signing up. But correct. Yeah, the oh, window, the, yeah, the Windows like one, you actually have they have to send you an, okay. an invite for, and I have not been among the chosen ones. When yet. I signed up for my Boxy Alpha for my Mac, I got it like two days later. So maybe I just have to. There's hope for you. <laughs> trying. There's hope, but it's it's fantastic. It, and we we bought an Apple TV, which I I I love. I mean, we could have just had a computer, but the interface with the Apple TV is really nice. And we the loaded remote. the boxy on it, and and it's like, oh, oh my gosh, it's magic! Look at this, I can watch it. And it's all of Hulu oh, right there. Right. Hulu and Juiced, and there's some BBC channels that aren't really playing right yet, but there's this little. Okay, it's not a little part of me. There's this huge part of me that loves Doctor Who. That's very hopeful <laughs> that at some point. I will be able to get the BBC channel that plays the new Doctor Who episodes. I don't know well, if that will ever happen. You can get any content you want on the internet. Right. It just you depends just on whether you want to be legal about okay, it. Or not. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That I can legally, because I would we never do. illegally watch it. Of course not. No. Right. I am Me a neither. very well-behaved little girl. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nobody in the studio audience making faces and winking at me. Right. I'm. I'm sorry about that. And you're David Tennant. Doctor Who is missing. Yeah, too. David. Thank God. Yeah, I really. David Tennant mm. was my tree topper for the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so much for the star. <laughs> and I think Doctor Normal took it away and hid it somewhere, which well, is bad because my the tree was in his rear end. So my David good. Tennant came all the way from Cardiff from the Doctor Who they museum. Did, from the Doctor Who museum. That's, so you were That's messing dedication. around when you said, "Yeah, you're a yeah. monster fan." Well, I didn't go. My friend lives like half a mile from the Doctor Who Museum in Cardiff. But, but then, but here's the thing. <laughs> it's but almost thought, cheating. But thought to themselves, this is perfect. She did. She went, she took her kids to the Doctor Who Museum and she 
got the little David Tennant doll instead, and uh, a sonic screwdriver as well. <laughs> I'm just impressed that there is a Doctor Who museum. Yeah, it's not just the new ones. It's the whole Doctor Who, all of them. Well, and I want to go to Cardiff. I mean, I, w I want to go to Cardiff. the longest running To see my friend, sure, show but on television, I really want to go right? to the Doctor Who museum. With if you love me, you'll take me to 90s, Cardiff. Right? Started in 62, <laughs> oh, sure. 60, I mean, Wait, it's a long... Wait, if you love me, you'll take Verso and I to Cardiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> me and you. Oh, okay. Oh, send yeah. Girls trip. Sorry. You're just gonna bank, he's just going to bankroll He'll it. He'll be happier. Everybody wins. It's, it's <laughs> true. You don't really want to see what we do at the Doctor Who Museum, do you? No, yeah. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I mean, did, did Doctor Who, I mean, what's your, what's your favorite show? Oh, hands down, Hello. Battlestar Galactica. She's oh, missing that's right. her favorite show to you be You were tweeting here. about this. You're here yeah. tonight and yeah. missing this thing. And thank yeah. you very much. And I'm, we're we have to like get some coffee for the husband because I said when we get home we gotta watch it. We well, have I'm to wondering, watch it. Well, I'm wondering before before Bix actually got to watch it on the New York Times. I, I felt so happy for him when you guys told me because I've been off Twitter and I got well, so I was so happy when you're like Bix got to watch it. I'm like yes. He was threatening. He was like just tell them that Bix will be very angry. <laughs> And <laughs> maybe maybe Bix will be very angry if anyone spoils it for you too. So Bix, just keep the angry up for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> stay away from Twitter. <laughs> so that, oh, so I, that I, nobody I, tells Stephanie. I, I, had, I had a brief moment of terror when I got out of the booth yeah, he, uh, from the show at seven thirty, and I sit down. And I noticed my tweet deck, which has the tweet cloud on it. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I see the word Cylon and the tweet cloud. And I'm like, oh, like, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> don't keep it look away. away. <laughs> he comes over to me and he's like, shut down your twit scoop. Shut it down right now. Just shut it down. And I'm like, it's not even. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Yeah, yeah, Battlestar Galactica. I don't watch much TV either. Ironic, given mm. what I do for a living. But um, I, I don't. Um, there are shows that we tape. Or I should say DVR, you know, mm -hmm. shows that we record. Um, but other, really, not not a whole lot. A food Network, if I'm, like, oh, it's yeah. a Saturday morning. That's my one pain yeah. of giving up cable yeah. is no yep. more Food Network. And wait. that's like a Saturday, I just click it on and I just go, ha. Ah. Yeah, and then I go to the store everything. and spend way too much money for all these ingredients because yeah. I get inspired and then. Yeah, what's up? I mean, it's just like that. That Who, who would have thought the Food Network? Right. I mean, Iron Chef I would have and thought, everything. You know, it's just, you know why? Two things, I like food. Two things we have to survive. Food and sex. Yeah. Right? Food Network. It's, everyone eats food, right? It's like, there it is. Right there. You know, it's food porn. It's still, you know, it's it's still food porn. a limited audience. You know? You know what they have on the Food Network? You have to want to cook, network? otherwise it's going to bore you to tears. They have bacon That's on true. the Food Network. That's true. I mean, if you're making the Kraft macaroni and cheese every day, you know, and you're just like, you know... Yeah, probably not into the food network. Well, What's funny is to hear who people's favorite chefs are. Who do you like to watch and who do you don't? I mean, it tells, to, it, you know, mm, tells you a true. lot. I, I defected Travel Channel when Anthony Bourdain's show. Oh, I love that show. Went to, no reservations. Mm -hmm, yeah. Went, went from, from Food Network to travel. So, so. I, I, think, I, think th I think this is when we go around to the chat room. Or not to the chat room, but to the studio audience and find out who everyone's favorite television chef is. So someone pick up the microphone and start. And then we'll come back to th um, with us. Why don't we, why don't we start with you guys there? Oh, for a minute, and then we'll pan the microphone Let's while see. I fix the stream. And I'm gonna have it's to been go. Doing really well. Oh, either Alton on. Brown. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Or Mario. Okay, Mario. Mario I don't. I haven't Ugh. quite figured. I haven't gotten into to Mario, but yeah. Alton is the one show that's one of the few that we. I love DVR. Alton Brown. Yeah. Um, you know who I really love right now is that mm -hmm. chef Jamie Oliver. That's the oh, other one. So Jamie Oliver is fun. Yeah. He's the other one. I like no him audio a lot. In the podcast. No audio in the podcast. The oh, in the stream. Yes, the, the stream is. I know. Um, Bourdain. Bourdain. No doubt, hands yeah. down. Um, after that, uh, Colicchio on Top Chef. Which I have also been. not a, not a Food Network thing, but I love Top Chef, and it's it's a better show than the. Food Network competition show. Yeah. So they've got a, another one starting up though called Chopped that looks like it's got <laughs> potential. Potential. Did you ever watch that? Uh, what's it called? I can't. But it's the really really cranky chef guy, and he's getting people to run his Hell's restaurant. Kitchen. Oh, Hell's Kitchen. Oh. I'm not. I'm, um, I'm not is it Gordon Ramsay? Gordon yeah. Ramsay. I'm not yeah. into shows about angry people. Yeah, neither am I. But for some reason, he's entertaining. I like watch it. No, he's not entertaining. No. But all the people throwing their little melodrama fits, and I you hate don't... reality TV. But all the little. With the yeah, I've never seen Survivor, never seen a Bachelor. I've never, never seen, seen any Yeah, but we have this, you know, the audience out there has a, a schadenfreude, like, mentality. It like, is. I, I, really, I yeah, want to see people cry at the end, you know. And, no, I don't want to see people like, cry. I'm, I'm like not that way either. I'm like, yeah. you know, there's enough of that in the so world, So who's your right, favorite you know? TV chef? 
TV chef. Um, yeah. See, I, I mean, you, you mentioned Alton Brown and yeah. Jamie Oliver, two of my favorites. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. You really like Mario too, choice. but you just don't like that he wears Crocs all the time. Yeah, but if I, Crocs yeah. and like capri pants. What if I say I that? Know, uh, I guess they're like long shorts. Whatever. Uh, it's that's like, actually it's, it's Gina a, it's Gia De Laurentiis or something. Giada, Giada. really? Giada. Giada. She's cute. The guys, all the guys like Giada. Know, she's cute. Even John's like, wow. My husband. Well, like yeah. She doesn't eat the food Giada. she cooks because yeah, she's like the real thing. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, and, you know, I think I think everybody likes Alton and, Alton's and uh, Alton is is yeah. a geek's cook. Exactly. He is. Maybe and that's, 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 that's what it is. He's, he's the one that, that like, taught me to brine a turkey. I didn't even. I'm like, oh, you brine a turkey? Oh, I love his I props. Who, I love his props. I know oh. who my favorite chef of all time. All right. It was Chen from the original yes, Iron you Chef. Love I love Chen. Chen. And he yeah. was just like the he was the Muhammad Ali of Japanese Iron Chef. He'd just come in there it's like, oh, he's up against Chen. And he'd like be like, yeah, I'm cooking something that my talking, grandma if made. If we're talking about you know, Iron Chef, though. In China yes. for us. And, and, and he's just throw it out there and everybody like, oh, Chen, and you're a genius. Sakai is my favorite from <laughs> And Sakai was great. He's I like the originals. Yeah. Morimoto. Oh, I, oh, Sakai. Right. See, we can well, name Morimoto's 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 still on. on. Yeah. He's on the new Iron Chef. That's right. But, Alton is the only thing that makes the American Top Chef tolerable. Correct. Otherwise, it, it would yeah. be it's I, so probably great. unwatchable. I love it when there's something that even he doesn't know what it is. He's like, I'm not quite sure what that is. And yeah. then you know, I'm like, what wow. is it? Wow. Yeah. You have to know. Here's right. a true okay. true trivia question. Do you know who hosted the pilot and the test pilots for American Iron Chef? No. Verso does. Well, no. let's, let's shoot it over to Verso. She knows. It's someone we all love. It was the Shad. Shatner. Oh, that's oh, right. right. Shatner. Oh, was Shatner. You, yes, that was on I remember Shatner now. was the chairman, like in the pilot. It, it, was, it was on a UPN while. for a couple episodes. I remember yes. that. Before, before Food Network picked it up as a series. Yeah. Yes. How did he not get, is it true, he didn't get a cameo in the upcoming? He, the, he, they said they tried to make it work and they just couldn't make it work with the script or something and he was pissed about it for oh, a little while. Oh, come on. It's Star be, Trek. It's called time travel. He didn't like what they offered was the story. Oh. Oh. I, I she should be happy just to stand in the background. It's just not right if he's not in it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I'm not a purist that way. If, if, if they make a good movie guess, and, and, and redeem, uh, I think. You know, so you the guys last into the sci-fi? Wait, wait, wait! wait. That's my Odyssey. favorite. That's my favorite Shrek. genre. Before we which get have, into which... the sci-fi, I want I want the <sighs> right, oh, video we, audience right, to well, tell us their favorite business. TV chefs. Oh, okay, we're we're back streaming. Okay. Exactly. Favorite TV okay. chef. It would be Alton, and the reason I like Alton is because he tells you why. I think that's what makes him the geek chef, is because he says, you add more butter to do this thing to these molecules, and then you can and apply that. And then he gives that. you balloons? He yeah, Googles. He does. And you can <laughs> apply that principle to something else that you're he making, Googles which is why I enjoy him. Um, the grape juice commercials and the new hair, not so much. No, no, no. So no, I have no, to no. qualify that. But um, I also like that he rides his motorcycle around and eats Alton insane Brown, food. Alton Brown, please in, like, shave your show. face. Seriously. Shave okay, thank you. your face. I think and now in the podcasting look- first, you all will mm-hmm. get to hear the voice of PDX Scott. Yay! Almost as, elus- wow. as elusive as Dr. Normal. He, d- he doesn't look like he's going to talk. No, I don't think I am. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Passing the buck. Who, who's your favorite TV chef? Well, it's a cop-out at this point, but it's Alton Brown. There you go. Every it's, episode he has, recorded. He oh. has one season pass on the TV and it's Good Eats. <laughs> there you go. That's not true. Okay. So, in the interest of not saying Alton Brown like everybody else, I'm going to go with the Swedish chef. Yes! Nice work. Spoken like a true .NET developer. <laughs> in a room full of Macs. Um, yeah. What was the, the question? <laughs> Favorite television chef? I just thought of one. It's not your turn. <gasps> it's your turn. Julia Child. And there we go. Yes. Can you pass? I was thinking old school too. Pass the microphone back. Yes. I was thinking uh, Graham Kerr, the Galloping oh, Gourmet. Graham Kerr. Oh, that's old school. And yeah. um, uh, Julia Child, and who else? Um, uh, we'll, we'll get to it. Okay. John. All right. This is John. <laughs> this is my husband. <laughs> Hi, John. I'm making his podcast appearance. This is my <laughs> debut. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I don't really watch the first. <laughs> You do want you do in the background because I'll come out and plop down. Has on the something I'm absorbed a local into chef. you? It's, um, Junkie Yoshida. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Very nice. He's yeah. Kind of crazy and funny. Well played. I love Very the local nice. chef. Well played. Very nice. 
I love the local chefs. We, that's what we need more of. See, when you get in the new studio and you have lights and you Ooh, look at yes, more you should have more chef-y more chefy things happening. We've got Caprile down the street. I'm of sure you want and... everyone to tell you what you should do. You <laughs> should have chefy things. Do actually, I mean that, and, that, that's and, the whole point of this. Actually, they'll be that, leaving with and, a three-page list, list of, right. of, <laughs> of suggestions that I've written. I hear Steph Strickland. You just email her on anything, you know. Yeah. It's like yeah. I don't like that Portlandia. She should be smaller. <laughs> I'm it? on it. Yeah. Open up Google. Uh, and that guy with the umbrella in Pioneer Square. If you could just, uh, you know. What is his name? Do There's something. Name for that. I always you, just call him Umbrella Man, but yeah. I don't There's know if he's got an actual name, name for it. It's not Umbrella Man. No. And I just can't think of it off the top of my head. If you could get people to stop kissing him, <laughs> that would be great. Actually. Because it always <laughs> creeps me out when I see the pictures of the people kissing the Umbrella Man. Because you know, man. it's just not. It's, just it's unsanitary. Yeah. I have a re- no. I have a, a, a question that's. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. Just. Now, is this your live at seven studio only, or is this no, the, the entire studio? No, the morning show stu- folks will be there too. The morning, okay. So it'll be shared with the morning folks yep. and the live at seven. But you're not moving the whole. I mean, the whole station. <laughs> nope. No, no, no. It's just the right. in it, in and every time we ask for something new down there, the engineers are very careful to tell us it's just a studio. It's not another newsroom. It's not another control booth. It's not an edit suite. It's a studio, and uh, and that's all it is. It's just for looking pretty. It, it's for it's for putting pictures on TV. Yep, basically. And there'll be windows there. There are windows you can people... you can look That'll in and we can look to out. See how that all goes. Yeah. There, there there's a pool going on. How long until we get the first flasher on the air? I don't think it'll take very long. Personally, so when, when, when are you guys opening Dr. the studio Normal's again? Fire <laughs> <over>. <laughs> what was the date and the time? <clears throat> hey, I'm Dr. Normal, everybody. <laughs> I promise to keep him locked in the house that day. Thank you. Yeah, because otherwise. <laughs> All bets are off. Yeah, I won't be able to go out in public anymore. Uh, yeah. and, and I'm sure we'll also get, I'm sure, our own Vincent the Fashion Man. Oh, I hope so. If you, that's oh. something to YouTube. Uh, you search on YouTube Vincent the Fashion Man, mm-hmm. and in, in Chicago, there is this guy who shows up outside the uh, WMAQ studios wearing incredibly bright suits like once a week outlandish like bright suits suits. suit style pinks purples peaches and he does a fashion dance dances Dances he twirls and it's and the guy i mean he's having the time of his life and so they're like hey vincent's here and then vincent does his twirl and he you know sachets and it's just it's totally rad Really I'm still not sure if Vincent Maybe is special Bix ed do or do not. Maybe Bix but would do that. I just have images. I can picture uh, Bix, yes, in a pink and purple pinstripe I, zoot I mean, suit. Yeah. yeah. I have images of, of the, uh, you know, the insult sure comic dog okay and the Star Wars, Wars line. Yeah. That's what I imagine. It's like all of a sudden you'll see like Princess Triumph. Leia and Chewbacca <laughs> and some really crazy guy from maybe quasi Lord of the Rings and somewhere else oh. walking around, you know. Did you see that woman retelling um, Star Wars? Who, who she didn't see it. It was going around on the yeah. intertubes. Um, but her retelling of it is pretty funny. Because apparently Chewbacca is a deformed Ewok. <laughs> and she goes, it goes on from there, and it just gets better and better. It's pretty Poor Sounds Chewbacca. good to me. Yeah. He, he, gets, he gets a hard Actually, <laughs> Actually, hard it was time. probably in the Bad 1979 rap. Star Wars uh, Christmas, Christmas special. special. Yeah. Yeah. Holiday special. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. exactly. I, it was probably was in that there. That was actually, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. That was not a horrible Wookiee. Th- that was a, a pretty, pretty. Oh, come on. How can you beat B. Arthur and Art Carney? B. Arthur Sings. And Thank you. Star I, Wars I characters. I didn't say I could beat them. I said I mean, that wasn't horrible. The Art Carney. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> okay, so now, so now we have to go back to the, we were discussing the favorite sci-fi and obviously Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. There we go. But yeah. did you watch from the original? That, classic Any sci-fi. Any? No. I mean, I've seen episodes of the original. Yes, but I can't. I mean, I wasn't. So it's all about the new one. Well, okay. totally. The original was on for like ten episodes or something, right? I mean, no, no, no. It no, was on for it was on a, full, a full season. A I think. full season. Okay, so but that's how many episodes? And then like there was and then there was or something specials or, or something specials after or that. Spinoffs or something, but but I, it was I, Bonanza. <laughs> it was yeah, yeah. Lauren Green, Cartwright. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. A but lot of a lot of the, the sci-fi shows I liked as a kid went off the air after one season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't pick them very well. I, I was into Quantum Leap. I loved Quantum Leap. I like Quantum, Quantum Leap. Leap a lot. But that's yeah. see, I was a little bit older at that point. Like I was back in the day when it was like Manimal. Do you guys remember Manimal? <laughs> right? Manimal. Manimal, where the guy turned into the panther and his skin would boil and they would or an eagle and it was like the same they used the same clip because special effects were expensive. Oh yeah. Anybody else watch Manimal? 
Misfits of oh, Science yeah. was another one. Max Headroom, though, goes down oh, as one of my that, own. Max that was Headroom. a very, very yeah. innovative show. That, that was a show that was Again, ahead of its time. one season, I believe. I love yeah. Max Headroom. That was, I do, too. Is that on DVD or something? I mean, can no, it because be? Bix knows the answer to this, because we were just having this conversation on Twitter the other day. There was a, a rights, and I'm going to get it all wrong, and then he'll be angry with me, but there was a, a rights <laughs> He's dispute. He's going to bite you. It's going to be horrible. There was a, uh, some sort of rights dispute. Anyway, there's some sort of argument going on that prevents that from coming out on DVD. There was also discussion that may or may not still be pending about a remake, which I would be all for. I would love to see that show redone in today's day and age. Did but, you ever watch Knight Rider? Oh, yeah, yes. totally. Do you, have you of seen course. the new one? Do you like, no, no. Oh, I, I watched, saw it for like 10 seconds it's and I went, so horrifying. oh, I know. And yeah, it's one I of our shows, it. so I shouldn't And then I got, it, but. I got sucked into it, right? I was watching it on Hulu. Because it, it was there. Because sure. it was there, and I'd watched everything else. <laughs> you watched the rest I of mean, development four or five times through. And, on yeah. Hulu, but I'd watched everything that I was already watching, so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll try Night Rider episode. Rider. If you're and I watched looking it. at a remake of Night Rider, you have too much time on your hands. You need to go do something <laughs> productive. The thing I was is, is all day laundry. It would have had potential, truly, yeah. right? Like, like we were all like, Knight Rider's mm-hmm. coming back. Oh, that'll be awesome. And oh, then no. I saw one, and I went, ooh. The thing about Knight Rider, they, they screwed with the formula. Yeah. yeah. Knight Rider had a formula that was that worked. It was hokey enough to, to work and make sense, and the car talked, and yeah. Michael saved the day. And then, as best I can tell, I haven't watched the full episode, but they screwed with it, didn't they? Oh, they yeah, put they, lots of boobs in it. It was a new bug, right, <laughs> or something? It was like... <laughs> Her- Herbie. Herbie. <laughs> Herbie suddenly shows up. The, 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 the little well, and they turn the car into a transformer down, or something, right? right? Yes. It just transforms into a yes. variety of Ford cars. It does. It does whatever it wants Were to do. Were they fuel efficient? And then no. they got a really, really hot woman to be the mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. And she, yeah. Knight Rider. Wow. Yeah. 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 And Manimal. Do you remember V? Yes, I oh. loved V. That's another one that's making a comeback. We, love we did this on Twitter, v. but that's how that and goes. The beauty of Twitter because that's how I know that V is I coming missed, back. Is because I missed of Twitter. I missed the V Twitter yeah, thread. I totally missed back. it. Oh, so are they going to like re-release it? Or are they going to remake it? No, I think it? they're actually remaking it. It's they're redoing remake. it, and then some of the original characters, if I'm remembering correctly, some of the original um, cast members are going to make cameos in the V. Was awesome. Yeah, was. Did you ever watch V? No, this is, this is all after is? my time. It's yeah, like you're a an sci-fi. old man. Look, look, look. You're old. Just say I'm old Steve and Steve Austin. On. We can rebuild yeah. him. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Why is he moving so slow? I don't know. You know, I mean, it's like. <laughs> and they were going to remake a movie, Speak Six to. Million Dollar Man, too, but I didn't. Well, they that fell apart. They made the Bionic, Bionic Woman, woman and, and botched it by not putting Katie in the lead role. Yeah, that's true. And the late, late 60s and early 70s. TV was controlled by disaster filmmaker Irwin Allen. So I think he did Lost in Space. Lost in, yeah. The, yeah, with, Lost in well, Space. I think he yes. did Lost in Space. That was the cease, what are those called? No, no, no. So was, whenever Will, anyone says Save Lost me, Will in Robinson. Space. Save mm-hmm. me with the oh, Save me, Will Robinson. What am yeah. I thinking it was, um, of? Pigs in Space? Land of the Lost. Yeah. Oh, I love Land of the Lost. That was yeah. awesome. Um, it took me a minute. But whenever anyone the says Lost Family in Space, Robinson in space. Oh, that yeah. was I have the Muppet <laughs> show. I always go, Pigs <laughs> in Space. Right. And then I start thinking of the operating room theater. With Land the of the Giants. Another Irwin no Allen I- classic. I have no idea. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Yes. Another no. Irwin no. Allen classic. Oh, these were classics. But man. when? Like the <laughs> late 60s and early 70s. I, yeah, I think yeah, they yeah. all like sort of Not alive. Not alive. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Now you, you didn't see Star Wars when it was. No, Star Wars I, the year I was born. I right. saw Star Wars in utero. <laughs> yeah. in so did she, I think. No, no, no. I think it came out. Uh, yeah, it was the same year too. It was the summer. I was, you right? I was born in March and Star Wars came out yeah. in the summer. Who are you the greatest <laughs> generation? <laughs> oh, man. He's been saving that. I'm all where I'm yeah, there it is, finally. But I've been hearing it all night, so I'm kind of like. See, I, I, I sort of lost it. I mean, I was. <laughs> yeah, I'm was, working on it, though. Earlier in the kitchen when we were doing the dishes. It was yeah. good then. Oh. That was hours ago, though. Todd but. was watching Star Wars with a pint of bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> now we're at a WNBC. That's Sorry. Not so I have to tell you guys a Brokaw story. I'm working on it. Okay. Yes. Yay. It's not, I, think, it's not, I think it'll be a Brokaw story, and then I think we'll wrap up, though. He did talk like that, though, right? I'm looking at the Do you, are you guys ever? Have you ever seen Evening Magazine? Um, yes. A, okay, so it's yeah. produced out of Seattle. The host of that show, John Curley, does the world's best 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 tom brokaw mm-hmm. my girlfriend kim works for that show and she told me about it and lo and behold i get a call on my cell phone which i wish i had the voicemail deleted 
wish I still had it from drunk Tom Brokaw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Congratulating me on my pregnancy in the new Live at Seven show. Nice. It was so classic, but he used to call into one of the radio stations up there in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And he was so believable that someone at, at the NBC station where she works freaked out and thought Tom Brokaw was really <laughs> calling in drunk to the NBC. So there was this huge hubbub where they, so John was told not to call the radio station supposedly anymore and be drunk Tom Brokaw. Sad. He is that good though. So like you, it's spot on. And to look at him, you guys have seen him. He's a blonde guy. I just there's no you know mm -hmm. somehow would as, for reasons that make no logical sense would yeah. assume that they should also look the, the similar but he's got it down he has that impersonation down pat is it that's like the pre prerequisite to be a national anchor and an icon is to talk funny i mean you I have don't like think brian williams talks funny you but you got like the old guy like cronkite sure. brinkley and yeah. that's Broca. the way it is exactly pat, pat doris does a pretty good <laughs> old school like news a, anchor mm -hmm. in the newsroom right before we get started yeah. on the show he marches yeah. around ladies and gentlemen gather the children yeah. i can't even do it but he's got it the question like the old haunts school. us through the ages exactly you know and brinkley too you know sure. just like good night well, shit you know it's just like that <laughs> well and some of that okay, is that, that those are the guys who came out of radio yeah. Ah, yeah. Where that that legendary the, voice was far more important out. than your looks. I miss it. And somewhere along the way, TV changed, and it became now it's all about, about the hair. Lynn, <laughs> that's for you. About the helmet. I about miss the hair. The, hair. the yeah. helmet. I love. Hair. Oh, I yeah. love the Having old that school voice. And um, one of my favorite when I was a kid, I remember the when she died tragically. Jessica Savage, who was like be, was becoming this great, like was I think the first really groundbreaking anchor and newswoman in the early 70s i mean was really on the rise and she had kind of that crazy anchor voice too you know it was perfect yeah. for television okay. i think we're because we're heading into the midnight hour and we need to wrap it up but i think before we go we should find out everyone's favorite television newscaster <laughs> of all time and then we should say we're goodnight. gonna dig this podcast out of the dirt oh um. <laughs> yeah so start with the audience this time and make sure that John gives the right answer. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. Hand the mic down. Pick me, pick me, honey. Please. Oh, pick there me. we go. Well, it's obvious. Of course, my wife, Stephanie. <laughs> yes. Yay! Yay! Hmm. It's it's not easy. I'm trying I'm going no. through it trying to decide how I want to answer this. I know the answer. It's the reason I asked the question. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can say that. Fantastic. Media chick. Yes, I'm thinking. Okay, I have the guy. Uh-huh. Um, I have a guy. He's a guy. <laughs> he does things. Focus. I'm sorry. Short, <laughs> kind of old, yeah, no I young. I can't remember his last Dark name. Dark hair. Starts with an S. Uh huh. He's got maybe five letters. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> First name's John. No, he I, did a bunch of <laughs> investigational type. Stossel. Stossel. Yes. Oh my that, gosh. I love I Stossel. Love that has guy. turned into a bit of a right wing nutcase. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he has. And he has. that's fascinating to me. Yeah, it's it been a really interesting transition. <laughs> yeah. Something's happened to him. <laughs> something Mr. fell off a horse or something so probably not directly a you know like a news anchor type person but probably the tv news personality that most stands out in my mind at least you know for my kind of recent memory uh would be tim russert yeah and yeah. a lot of the coverage yeah. he's done yeah. you know the political stuff in the last several years before he passed away good answer yeah pdx scott that's a tough one um you know, Richard Ross used to be Channel 2. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, old time. Yeah, old school. Yeah. yeah. He was really influential. Yeah, very influential in the, in the area. I know we've been mocking him some longer than others because I was here earlier in the evening for the kitchen <laughs> impersonations, but um, I got to go with Brokaw because when I was a kid, every th everything in my whole life like that I remember for so long ha that happened, he was who told me about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Whether it was Challenger or Hostages or Olympics or anything that like basically interrupted days of our lives, he was the yeah. one who was telling me about it. Yeah. That's right. Dr. Normal. Oh, are you going to start with me? I am. Well, those were all really great answers. Yeah. First, I'm going to say <laughs> Steph Strickland. Oh, thanks. For the win, yes. <laughs> thanks. Because she does podcasts. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes. Because yes. you yeah. invite me. Thank you very much. It's nice. <laughs> but I like the Russert shout out. And, and Brokaw as well. I grew mm-hmm. up with the Brokaw thing. Um, you know, I remember when he was anchored the Today so Show. So what you're and, saying is that you're just going to take everyone else's answers and you're not going to have one of you. I, you know, it, it, there's, <laughs> there's just so many good people out there. Okay. You know. Taking a dodge. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> he totally does that a lot. <laughs> and plus, did I mention Steph Strickland, who does podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Aaron. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of I, I genetically obligated, actually, to, to say my mom. Yeah. Um, who was, was an anchor in Tucson for 30 years. Um, so and this is how it, awesome. there, there's a whole other story there for a whole wow. other podcast and a lot of discussions with Steph about growing up with a mom on TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and mom I, is probably not watching now because it's 2 a.m. In, in Madison where she is. But if you're listening to the podcast now, mom, you're, you are the best ever. So. Wow. Yay, Yay mom. mom. Yay, mom. A great reason to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, we're getting kind of shatner us there. Let's just... No, oh, sorry. <laughs> Stephanie? Hands down, it's Ron Burgundy. Really <laughs> <sick of mine. laughs> I learned so much from that man. There, there are... There, and Tits McGee. And t- <laughs> <laughs> That's a team. Believe it or not, there, there are, there are some, some mom stories to tell with Harold Green, who, who is was the inspiration, the inspiration for, for Ron Burgundy. So that's a, Now that right there, hook, that's a tease. That's a tease so right there. That. All right, <laughs> you're coming back. Mine yep. is Ed Bradley. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yep. Which, very sadly, Ed Bradley's no longer with us. <laughs> That's didn't right. Know, yeah. Neither yeah. is Tim Russell. We didn't know it was and Tim, Yeah. yeah. PDX yeah. Scott Correct. would like to revise his answer. Oh. We didn't know it was actual news casting. It's, it's <laughs> Miller, definitely. No. <laughs> right. John Stewart. Les Nessman. <laughs> huh? You gotta Les love Les Nessman. Oh, yeah. WKRP in Cincinnati. Turkey drop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the turkey drop. The turkey drop. Chat room is noting that Geraldo has really gone downhill. Oh, <laughs> and that Stossel All is right, tool. everybody. Yeah, well, on that and note, on, that. Oh. on the Stossel and Geraldo <laughs> note. <laughs> Aaron and Steph, it was wonderful to have you. Thanks Thank for you having guys us. For having Thank us. you. This has been a blast. Studio Thank audience, you very much. thanks for coming. Everybody join us next week with Justin Kistner. Beer and blog. Yeah. And uh, one day off. No, day off. Day off. Day on. 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 You just need to spend more time talking to Halodal and then you'll get it. Yes. Day on. It's org. If you site. have some, if you're a geek and you have some time to uh, volunteer Is that on how you Monday. Say? Halodal? Halodal. Is that XOLOTL? Actually, Halodal. I'm so glad to know that. Yeah. Now, now we comments. It comes well, up at the end of the show and I go, XOLOTL. Podcast Lotto? number five and six. Halodal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, little Nate Angel. Cool. All right. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.